visitor center and here's a beautiful picture but I'm fixing to get to go see the real thing. If you come to this you have to get permission several months ahead through your congressman. You have to fill out a whole lot of paperwork so be sure and do that if you plan to come to it. And I'm fixing to go. Welcome to At Home with Miss Joan. We are not Miss Joan. She is filming. I'm running the camera. For our DC trip for today, we start out at St. John's Church. It's called the Church of the Presidents, and it's right across from the White House. And I think every president since James Madison has gone to a service there. There's a pew that's called the President's Pew that stays empty for any president that wants to come to a service there. And they have a pew for Abraham Lincoln that's in the very back of the church where it's, they said that Abraham Lincoln during the Civil War would come in and sit at the back and then leave. It was a blessing to me to know that our presidents were going to church and worshiping the Lord. It was unique that Lincoln always slipped in late and left early because he didn't want to hinder the service in any way, but he didn't want to be there to worship the Lord. And I had the privilege to walk up on the stage and step in the pulpit uh, you wasn't really supposed to do that, but didn't have a sign out. So the lady came out later and said, well, because I didn't have a sign out, you could do it. And so that was a unique experience for me as well. But Jordan said, it's just right across the road from the White House. And then from St. John's, we went to the Visitor Center for the White House. So if you don't happen to get tickets to the White House, I still recommend you go by the Visitor Center because it's got lots of good artifacts and things, stories about the White House there. Second gate to the left. You know, I've seen pictures of it and looked up YouTube videos and stuff, but just getting to be there and really see it was something else. We got to see, you know, all the rooms, it's the colors, the red room, the blue room, the green room, and the, all the different rooms and the big dining room that they have. And the steak dinners in. They have the steak dinners in, that's right. And it's just, and see all, more statues, more pictures of all the presidents and first ladies. And it's just something else to see. Oh, uh, I loved it. Of course, you know, I think I've already said that we had to get special clearance and fill out papers a couple of months ago. And I started in July working on this. Yeah, to see if we could actually get a tour. And then they assured us that exactly two weeks before we was leaving, that we would get the answer. And sure enough, exactly two weeks before uh, we left, we got the answer that we would get to tour the White House. And we met some nice people while we were standing in line and waiting our turn to go in. We got lots of beautiful flowers and the gardens that you can see out through the windows. It was a really, really nice tour. Something I've been looking forward to for a long time. Oh yes, I forgot. I don't buy a lot of souvenirs when I go somewhere, but I did want this. This is a 2022 since that's when we got to come tour the White House Christmas ornament and it's the replica of the White House the front and the back and I thought that was pretty cute I'm gonna treasure that I appreciate preacher buying that for me today we went to lunch afterwards didn't we yes I had reservations for us at Old Abbott Grill I had read that a lot of people eat there swing there in that area we ate swanky lunch today I told preacher that was gonna be his birthday lunch because it was very very nice i had the crab cake highly recommend it very good yeah this this restaurant it gets five stars it was really good you had salmon didn't you preacher and then i thought i was just getting the pork chop it had that on the menu it said pork chop well he they brought her plate and it looked like a crab cake and they brought his plate and it looked like salmon and then i thought well they got the wrong plate sitting there it looked like crown or roast or whatever you call it prime rib or something and it was the pork chop. I was funny. I, I'm not kidding. They say that's a half an inch. Is that an inch? An inch. Okay. It was at least this at thing. Least, yeah. And they had the bone sticking out the top of it. It had collard greens and sweet potatoes and baked apples or something with it. You didn't get to pick what your sides was. They just told you. But I've never in my life, I would have argued that boy down that was not a pork chop. But uh, it was. It was. I was so thick. It was really good. And after our lunch, what did we do? We uh, went to the old post office tower. Yeah. Uh, I had read before or seen videos that um, it has as good of a view as going up the Washington Monument, but you don't have to have tickets for it. You can just go up there. And it was about 
maybe half a mile from Old Ebbett Grill was the old post office tower and it's behind like the Waldorf Astoria and so it's back in there you go behind the hotel to the old tower and you go up the elevator and it's 12 floors up and you get to see a sweeping view of the city which I really liked I wish they didn't have the little wires yeah little bars you had to take the pictures oh. through these little bars yeah it made it hard to make pictures but, uh, but it was a great you could see everything you were mm -hmm. far above the city you could just look down on everything you and they had a map laid out so you knew oh, over there is going to be the lincoln memorial over there's the white house and yeah. you could just see everything yeah hey y'all i'm at the top of the old post office tower you go up 12 floors and you can get a wonderful aerial view of the whole city of washington and whoo we are high up but it is beautiful from up here it surely is it was put together really good and didn't you say this hotel used to be owned by Trump. It was called Trump. It was a Trump hotel. Hotel and now it's, what do you call it? Waldorf Astoria now. I can't say it, but just believe her. It was really nice. The National Archives. And of course, you know, that's where the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. If y'all wondering why I got that so right, it's because it's written here on my phone, but I didn't want to mess it up. But it was really something to go in there. Everybody's real quiet when they're looking at them. And it's have, really dark in there. I was shocked at how yeah, dark it was. But the little glass cases were kind of lit up that you mm -hmm. look down in. But you can't make any pictures in there. They won't let us take the first pictures. Mm -hmm. But it was really neat. And one of the guards or whatever he was, he really gave us a good talk about the paintings that was above all of that. He was just real. He knew a lot. Of course, he'd worked there like 18 years. Mm -hmm. We have run our legs off all day long. You could never see it. And do everything could you that's to do here no you couldn't in this town i know what we're going to do tomorrow but i'm not going to tell you till tomorrow how's that <laughs> <laughs> from right here at not at home with miss joan we are at day five we have just completed day five of uh, being in washington dc i hadn't talked much about riding the metro but we rode the metro to arlington virginia jordan wanted me to tell about it but i don't really care for it <laughs> you you got to ride the escalator down to where it's at, and of course, uh, and then you, you they whiz by, and you figure out which one you want to get on, and oh, you got this little card, and you tap it, and it's got your money in it. Anyway, the, what I didn't care about it for is they stop real quick, and you just got to hold on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as getting you there really quick, it does. You get there in just a matter of minutes, wherever you're going, and what do you think about it, Granger? Oh, I like the ride. It was fast. It yeah. was nice. It's a yeah. good way to get around the city. I'm sure people here use it a lot of times. Yeah, they do. And I'm sure it yeah. works really well. We're just from the country. We don't have nothing like that where we come from. The actual site at Arlington is something else. It's real reverent. Everybody's real quiet. And they have these little tram bus things, I guess you call them, that you get on and it takes you all around the cemetery. I don't remember how many graves is there. Do you? You just see rows. No, but there's thousands of them. Yes, miles and miles, it looks like. Just perfect straight lines of just marker after marker of people that died. And it's just really moving to see. And one of the stop, first stops at Eternal Flame, the, where President John F. Kennedy is buried and his wife Jacqueline. You get out and you go up to it, and there's the flame burning, and you just look at it. And of course, we remember that tragedy. Something to behold there is you stand there and remember him and her and the life that they lived and uh, what they did for America. And the changing of the guard, is that what it's called? And the yeah. tomb of the tomb un 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 unknown, soldier. unknown soldier and the laying of the reef. And that is, a, they do that every hour on the hour. So you need to allow at least to maybe a half a day, would you say? To, yeah. To go to it, it sounds like, well, we won't be there long, but the time you ride the train, tram, th and then you actually attend the ceremony, then you wait on it to come back and pick you up, it, it takes about a half a day. Really impressive to know that they've got a, a guard walking there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They never let it go unguarded, and it's very elaborate and uh, just shows you the military and how much emphasis they put on taking care of that tomb, the unknown soldier, representing all the unknowns that have died in the wars throughout the years.
just so professional how they did it. It's such a honoring, honoring way. And when they brought that wreath over there, I mean, I, well, I did tear up. It was just, you know, just to think about the sacrifice so many people gave for our country. Oh, they told us that they had 26 funerals today. I'm glad we went to see that. that yeah, very country. good. Well worth the time. Yeah. This evening we had a tour of the monuments and I wanted dad to get like a lot of information at the monuments because he had never seen them before. And so I booked Trip Packs DC Rob. He does private tours and I booked him for his tour of the monuments. He has a nighttime tour of the monuments and I loved it. I thought it was so good. So much information that we wouldn't have had if we had just walked up to the monuments He's ourselves. He's a really nice guy. I really like meeting Rob. He has a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, what'd you call it? Trip Packs? Trip Packs DC. Trip Packs DC. So if you're coming to Washington, look him up and use him because it was well worth it. I mean, we just chock full of information that we'd never had if it hadn't been for him. So we started out at the Jefferson Memorial. It's just, it's beautiful there because it's right there on the tidal basin. And so you got all the water and you can see the White House from there and the Washington Monument. And you could just see so much from the water. And then we went to the FDR, which I had never been to the FDR Memorial before. That one was new for me to visit. I was amazed at how big that one is. It's a really big memorial. Like you kind of move through the different terms of FDR's presidency really interesting and it was another reason why I was glad that we had the tour guide because some of the like the, the figures there I wouldn't have really known what it meant without someone explaining it to me and then once they, he explained it it just made so much sense and then from there we went to the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial it is incredibly well done you can just see the sky so perfectly behind it it's just a big tall structure I forgot how tall it is and then the way they designed it it's like he his part just came out of a a mountain mm -hmm. right and it's just really something to see it really is and it has all of well a lot of his quotes and things uh inscribed on the walls all rail around it it's just so nice and then we had the korean war memorial someone in our family uncle fred he served in the, the korean war so i made we made some good pictures of it to show him and it is really moving to see that how they have them was he say 13 soldiers standing in the rice paddies, rice field, and then they reflect up on the wall and it makes the 26 or something. 19. 19 and 38. I've got that. That's it. You're right. 19 and 38. It's late for me to be out. We was out at dark. <laughs> and it had a also, like a, I call it a marble wall with mm -hmm. all the names inscribed in there that were killed in, in the mm -hmm. war. And then from there we went to my favorite one, which is the Lincoln Memorial. I've just, I've always loved it. Um, I think there's just something really special about when you walk up and you see that huge statue of Lincoln that's right there in the middle of it. I've just, I've always been in awe of that building and that monument. It's just always been my favorite. Right. And there's lots and lots of steps up to it. So I just sat down there at the bottom and waited on the Rob and you and Daddy to go up to it. Mm -hmm. Met the nicest couple from St. Louis. Her name was Laura. We got, we got to talk about YouTube, and I told her about my channel, and she uh, subscribed to it right there. We just made best friends, and then she had a question. I said, I don't know, but the guy that's with us, he answered that while ago. We'll ask him when he come back around. Well, when they started walking towards us, uh, she said, oh, my goodness, that's Trip Hacks DC. She had a fit. She said, I was hoping I'd get to see him while I was here. Here, I watch his stuff on YouTube. Well, she was tickled to death to get to see him too. And then we went from there to the, was it the Vietnam? Vietnam War. Vietnam War Memorial. That wall, man, it's just breathtaking to see how far and how long it is. And it's just as tight as you can write the names of all the people that died in that war. And I wanted to find one in particular, and it was uh, Joseph Hillman the third. Vietnam Memorial Wall, and we need so much to look up Joseph Hillman the third. Here it is. I knew his daddy, his mama, his family from Rock Run, Piedmont, Alabama. Is how he's listed. And I remember when he passed away in the war, and us going to his house and spending time with his parents and seeing them come. Uh, Draped with a coffin draped over and the soldier standing guard on each end and I was probably about 12 years old and it just left a, such a strong memory in my mind.
and I'll never forget it. And I always said if I got to come here, I wanted to look him up because we're so honored him giving his all for our country. I, that just made a lasting impression on me when he passed away in, in our whole community. And I wanted to find his name on that wall and I got to do that and it meant a lot to me today. And the next one we, we went to World War II Memorial. And of course that meant a lot to me too. And that was because my dad was in World War II and uh, him and he had, there was four of his brothers. They were in World War II together. So his mother had four in the war at the same time. Plus uh, right after that, Uncle Fred was in the Korean War. And there were several of her sons serving in uh, World War II or the war at the same time. It just meant a lot to me. My dad's been gone for many years, but that I got to go see something that he would have really liked to have seen and enjoyed. And it's really, it's really big and it's got a big fountain and a lot of water. You can actually go into that water, stick your feet in. I wanted to, but it was so, I was so tired. I didn't know if I'd want to ever come back to the room. And it's got all the states all the way around it, big reefs on it. We got our picture made at the Alabama statue that they have there. I feel like we made a new friend tonight with the DC Trip Hacker. What do you call him? <laughs> Say it right. Trip Hacks DC. Trip Hacks DC. Sorry, Rob. You want to know about uh, DC, then you need to get a hold of him because Jordan watched a lot of his stuff did, when to, we were planning plan this trip. To plan this trip. And that girl that I met tonight at the Lincoln Memorial, she had watched a lot of stuff. She told him, she said, hey, you said it was safe for us to be out here at 8 o'clock at because <laughs> she'd watched his stuff. So we enjoyed a full day. Of, we got one more day. Of one more day. Here. We're signing off today from at home with Miss John, but it's been a jam up great day.